you know, I mean, everyone has a different lifestyle, different family setting, but really food, they kind of short-term reset. And that's where I, I agree with you. That's actually where that would not be where I would go first. And I would, if you're thinking about it, you read Dr. Baker's book, or whatever, and you're like, oh, this must be the solution. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach, the Kidney Disease Solution and the Kidney Mastery Program and our supplement Sky Genesis. And I'm joined again today by the amazing Jessiana Seville. Yes. So first off, Jess, why don't you give us an overview of what is the carnivore diet? What, what does that actually mean? Okay, so it's very simple. It is what it says. Well, it's always nice. <laughs> it's not a weird yeah. name. It is an all meat diet. That's it. Fruits, vegetables, no nuts, no grains, no Christmas cookies. Like, <laughs> so, um, that, that's all that it is, is a strictly meat diet, bacon, chicken, turkey, beef, steak, sausage, meat. And they, from when I looked at it, they also, they're quite big on using pasture fed meats and good quality yes. meat. Yeah. Good, good quality meat. Yeah. It's really, really an important part of that which makes a lot of yeah. sense. And I do find with a lot of my patients that eventually, like the goal is really to get you back to, I say regular better, <laughs> a regular better nutrition pattern in your life. Yeah. Because again, like, you know, I mean, everyone has a different lifestyle, different family setting, but really food's so integrated into so many parts of our life. And it is amazing to use aggressive treatments carnivore diet elimination diet etc for this kind of short-term reset and that's where i i agree with you that's actually where i see the carnivore should fit better as a reset period i think a ketogenic diet can work some people works really great long term and it's amazing and they should stay ketogenic long term some people works really good as a reset um in their life elimination you know so I think that's where it, in my opinion, is a really successful place for it to sit and may have some merit. Um, and, uh, but I, I would really, for me on the kidney disease stage, I feel very cautious and very reserved about using it if other avenues have not been explored first, right? Everything gets put on the table because you're working with people and maybe there's that person that it would work for, but that would not be where I would go first. And I would, if you're thinking about it, you read Dr. Baker's book or whatever, and you're like, oh, this must be the solution. You better monitor really, really carefully because there is, there is potential risks to it. I feel like yeah. for disease. Yeah, for sure. Especially if you've already got protein in the urine, I'd be saying no. And I think sort of to sum up, and then I'll pass it across to you to sum your bit up. I think it comes back to the fact that a very, and it's, you know, especially because I see so much autoimmune disease, which I see autoimmunity as people's capacity to tolerate the environment has been reduced because it, it'll be microtoxins, chemicals, emfs foods something uh, viruses something in their life is causing a systemic uh, inflammation and for them to attack their own tissue so their ability to cope with environmental exposure from whatever it is for that person's reduced like for me is a sum of autoimmunity yeah these restrictive diets of course in those kinds of cases will work because you're now taking more environment out but is that true health? Because for me, true health is getting a person back to being able to tolerate the environment. So I feel like these extremes okay. just move people further away from when I want them to be able to tolerate that. And what can I do to help a person better be in the world without taking all the foods out? And that can take a really long time. Um, but I feel like that chopping out while it might work short term to reset and sometimes that is absolutely what you need to do with a person you're not moving a person more towards health and being able to cope with the world around them kidney disease is a bit different you know they're not filtering properly and that takes a bit longer and so we are mitigating what can go through their bodies and they can filter but 
if we can reduce the fibrosis and improve oxid um, you know antioxidants and reduce inflammation maybe they can filter a little bit more and long term we've seen people be able to tolerate stuff but again it's about moving people being back towards tolerating more not reducing less so that's how i would sum up my reservation around any big restrictive diet um, and the reason that i don't tend to put ketogenic diets into that is because i think our modern our sorry our ancient paleolithic type diets were probably paleolithic i think we've moved away mm -hmm. from that into carbohydrates so i think ketogenic diets is probably for a lot of people i eat ketogenic all the time because optimally I feel a thousand times better. I've been ketogenic for six years now. And I think um, I've got no need to stay away from it because I feel like paleolithic type, that's what we were eating, right? So for me, that doesn't feel like a move away. Yeah, so, yeah. and you have you have variety, right? Like I I do think there's a lot of merit. I know in, in the carnivore diet, this is not talked about, that variety is not necessary but if you look at the microbiome like essence of how it works i think it's really essential to eventually have some of that variety back in your diet so yeah no. every like a bajillion different foods right i mean historically people kind of just ate a few foods that were available but uh definitely something that i would look at if you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. You'll find us on Facebook and Instagram. Same thing, forward slash kidney coach. All our resources are there. We've got some free downloadables. And, of course, you'll find all our supplements and programs in the shop. Jess, thanks again for your wisdom and sharing your uh, amazing brain with us on all things kidney.